Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Sincerely Jacqueline. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the alert button for further notifications. So guys, I am so excited today. Today we have two Dollar Tree coastal decor DIYs for you in collaboration with the amazing Heidi Sambal for her summer DIY challenge. We are making two DIYs that I know you guys are going to love, so keep watching. So on to our first DIY, decorative bowl fillers. So you're gonna need something that's round. You're also gonna need a bunch of seashells. I got these particular ones from the Dollar Tree and I also got some from a garage sale for charity as well. So you can use any ball that you like. Preferably you want something that's white or a neutral tone. If you don't have something that's white or neutral, you can paint it before placing the shells on there. So this DIY is super easy. All you want to do is glue your seashells to your ball. So for this DIY, there's no wrong or right way to glue your shells. Glue your shells however way you want. I honestly just glued them randomly. So you want to continue gluing your shells until your ball is completely covered. Now I will say guys, do be careful with the hot glue because it's a very small surface area. I would suggest being very careful or wearing protective fingertips. And there you have it, the final product. So here's another version that I made using uh, a clear ornament from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, that works well as well. And guys, here is the final product. I am so happy how these decorative coastal bowl fillers came out. I think it adds a lot of coastal charm and it was so easy to make. Now, you don't only have to use these bowl fillers for bowls. I actually had this lantern from Michaels that I purchased a few years ago, and I just took um, my decorative balls and put them in the lantern to give it a really cool coastal look. As mentioned, this is a collaboration with the amazing Heidi Sambal DIY. She also has an amazing DIY channel. So please check her out if you don't know who she is. If you are coming from Heidi's channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Jacqueline and I do budget-friendly DIYs, thrift flips, and home decor on a budget. If you like what you see, please subscribe, please hit the alarm button, and also visit my blog at www.sincerelyjacqueline.com. So let's get on to the next DIY. The next DIY is this gorgeous coastal lantern. And what you're gonna need is a round gift box from the Dollar Tree, preferably a neutral color, but I had to get this color. You're also gonna need some wooden dowels from the Dollar Tree and an adult size hula skirt also from the Dollar Tree. So I had to pick up this pink, hot pink gift box. And what I did is I basically removed the bottom of the gift box. Now what you want to do is also cut off the edge there. And as you can see, I cut that off to make it look like this. So next you wanna also spray paint that, the outside of it white. And then I just measured around the perimeter of my circular gift box. And I basically divided it by 10, which was the number of dowels that I had. Now you also want to mark the area so you know where to place your dowels. So what you wanna do is apply some generous amount of glue with your hot glue gun to your dowel and apply it to the areas that are marked. So for this DIY, I used 10 wooden dowels and for that 
particular pack, it came with 10 dowels. So once you place all your dowels, I just put the lid back on just to make sure that it worked. Now you can see that it's a hot pink color. I'm gonna be later painting that white. Next, you want to take your raffia hula skirt and you wanna remove 12 pieces and you wanna keep those 12 pieces folded in half. Then you wanna put those pieces together and you want to separate those 12 pieces into three groups of four. Then you wanna braid. You wanna do that by braiding overhead. Next, you wanna take your braided raffia and you want to just line the bottom of your lantern. So to complete the full lantern, you're going to most likely need 10 pieces or 10 separate braids. So I'm all done lining the bottom of my lantern. So as you can see, you still see a lot of the pink um, round gift box. I tried to cover that up by painting it, but the painting was a complete fail. So I came up with the idea to use some popsicle sticks and cut them to size to cover that area. If you're going to be doing this DIY, I suggest spray painting or painting before you apply the wooden dowels, just so it's easier for you. If you decide to use the popsicle sticks, you can go ahead and follow this step. So here is the top of the lantern. I did go back and paint it white. So what you want to do is take that braided trim and go around the edge of the box, as you see here, and you also want to fill in the center of the round box as well. So I decided to make this a little bit more interesting. So I used some rope from a Walmart and I really like this rope. You can actually use this rope instead of the braided uh, raffia to finish off the lantern if you are not good at braiding. So once I finished filling out the top of the lantern, I decided that I wanted a little bit um, more jazz to the lantern. So I decided to take some of the raffia and wrap um, around the wooden dowel. So what I did is I actually wrapped the raffia around every other wooden dowel. And here is what it looks like so far. So to finish off the lantern, I wanted to add um, another piece of that braided raffia trim to the bottom. And that is what I'm doing right there. And it just added a nice finishing touch to the um, lantern. I also added a little bit of rope inside. So what you're gonna need to do is take um, a wooden bead like this one I have, and you wanna take that braided raffia trim and I'm just applying glue inside the bead to make a little handle. Now this handle is not sturdy, so I wouldn't use it as an actual handle, but it is a nice finishing touch to our lantern. And there it is. So to finish off this lantern, you can do a few things. You can use an LED uh, candle from the Dollar Tree, or you can use a glass vase like I'm doing here. So what I decided to do is use some of the sand available at the Dollar Tree, and I just put it in the vase. 
And then I took my LED candle and I placed it inside the base. I advise using an LED candle opposed to a real candle for safety. And here is the final product guys. Here is our nautical coastal lantern. I think it came out really, really well. It was a struggle because I did make several DIY mistakes, but I think that that is the beauty of DIYs, figuring out things as you go, making mistakes and learning from them. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and that you got a lot of really cool ideas to make your own coastal decor decorations for your home. And thank you so much, Heidi, for including me in the summer DIY challenge. Again, if you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the alarm button for more videos from me. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.